All right, all right, all right. Well, hello. You may know me as Magic Man on the Discord, and if you don't, you probably know me as whatever this channel is called. Whatever the case may be, hello. I'm the host. This is the show. Welcome to the show, which I host. Now, today, I'm going to talk to you about some crazy shit. All right, we're going to talk about neuro charts. What are neuro charts? Neuro charts are an idea that Digibro came up with. He came up with them a while ago. Not that long ago, but he came up with them a little bit ago. What's the idea? Well, go watch this fucking video, fuckface. All right, cool, welcome back. Sweet, so here's what's up. I have a theory about this chart, and you could disagree with it, you can agree with it, whatever you want to do, let me know. But here's what's, here's what's up. Here's what I think's what's up. On this chart, there's these things I'm gonna call zones, all right? These are the rows, there's different rows, okay? And these rows, we haven't grouped them together, but there are significance, I, I feel. And so here's what's up. So at the bottom level, at the most linear, you got normies, all right? These are the most normie normies of them all. These are the most normal people, and these are the majority of people. Most people are normal, okay? The level above that, you have the people who deal with people, all right? We're talking about uh, understanding slash caretakers, okay? We're talking about the, the externalists, room breakers, right? You know what we're talking about. The people who deal with people, that's what they do. Next up, we got the exclusion zone. What's the exclusion zone? These are the people who are too different to be, who are so different, they are visibly different and therefore excluded by those less lateral than them. That is the exclusion zone. But they are understood fairly well by the people in the next zone. And these are the interest zone. The interest zone are those who are, their thought process is so different, so radically alien to the average normie that they become interesting and fascinating and unignorable. Now, what does this mean? Well, it means that, quite frankly, there are roles that are played here, all right? Society is structured around these roles very subtly, but I think very visibly, too. And furthermore, there's more to this than just that. For you see, as I've brought up society, I've brought it up for a reason. The next level of this theory, all right, the next level of what I'm going to call zone theory is the amplification zone, okay? Now, this is where the theory gets a little dicey. Not because I don't think it's correct, but because I don't think it's complete. You see, I'm of the opinion that there must probably be other zones in the uh, column axis as well, and this is the only one I'm definitely sure about. And this zone is the amplification zone, all right? This is the purple column. I'm talking fascinators. I'm talking overseers. I'm talking externalists. I'm talking the clear-sighted. These people, their, their row is amplified by their position on the chart and their position relative to society, okay? If you're a people's person, if you're in the people's row, you're an externalist. You deal with people all the time, and you're the most likely to become famous. You're dealing with people, and this is amplified by a ton, all right? If you're a fucking, if you're at the top, if you're, an inter, if you're in the interest zone, you're the most interesting. You're so interesting, we have a title for you. You're a fascinator, motherfucker, all right? If you're a fu motherfucking uh, in the exclusion zone, you're the most excluded. You're an overseer. That's what's up. And if you're a clear-sighted, you're the most normal, unfortunately. But that's just how the cookie crumbles sometimes, you know? Now, I'm sure this is all a lot to digest. I'm sure I've talked very, very fast for a very long time, but uh, suffice it to say, I think you should get it by now. And if you don't, I can't help you. Just watch it again, motherfucker. That's all I can really say. Uh, I'm Magic Man, and or whatever the fuck this channel is called, and uh, I hope you enjoyed the show that is hosted by me.